Hi guys, today I have a stationery haul for you. Some of you might be following along with my National Stationery Week content, but if you haven't been, then just an FYI, it's National Stationery Week this week, and today's hashtag is World Stationery Day, so I thought it'd be a good time to share the stuff that I was sent from the sponsors of National Stationery Week. All of this stuff was sent to me for free from the sponsors, so I've had it arriving gradually over the past few weeks, and I have been sharing on my Instagram when it arrives, so you may have seen some of this before, but I thought I'd put it all in one video so I can kind of go through it and talk about them a bit. If you hadn't heard of National Stationery Week until now I will have a link to the website down below and their social media. Staples sent over some of their basic collection so these are very plain stationery items. If you are looking for things that are a little bit cheaper then this might be a range that you want to have a look at. They sent a A4 line notepad which is spiral bound but it did get really bent in the post because it was sent in a jiffy bag so it's a little bit looking worse for wear. They've also sent a pack of gel stick pens. I did try one of these when they arrived and I do like how they feel but they are blue and I don't use blue ink at all. So I'll probably share these around with my family. So they will get used but they're not gonna be something I use in my day to day. I sent a pack of pencils and these have the rubbers on the end and these are just normal HB ones. I then got a rubber and some sticky notes. So those were the things that came through from Staples. Like I said, very basic, very simple but they are also very affordable so if that's something Think you're looking for then maybe check out this range by staples next i have these which came from mapton helix i have received a few things from mapton helix before these were the pens i got before from them i got a load of fine liners and also these like dual tipped coloring pens and they sit on my desk and i use them if i just want to do a bit of like doodling or coloring or something those are like my go-to grab four colouring pens. But yes, they have sent over this ballpoint pen, which is a kind of like rose gold coppery colour. It says that it has black ink and it is refillable. It's got a one millimetre nib and I'm actually going to open this up and have a nosy at it because I haven't had a nosy at it yet. <laughs> um, I try and save as much as possible for the video because if not, it would just be like, here's a load of used stationery. <laughs> it's just more fun going through it with you guys. <laughs> and I love chatting to you afterwards in the comments about everything. Think. I'm going to use a paper pad from Staples to test some pens on. I'll show you what these draw like as well. But to start with, I'm going to do them with this. That's a nice pen to write with. I don't tend to use like ballpoint or biro pens. I'm much more of a gel pen user. If I get a scratchy ballpoint pen, then I just cannot write with it. <laughs> I think that's my thing with ballpoint pens. They can be really hit and miss. And I'm obviously so used to using gel ink, which is so smooth. That was okay, but it's not like the greatest gel ink pen. I don't really expect it to be like massive quality. Obviously it's a pack of 12, so I'm guessing they're meant to be more of a budget pen. I definitely prefer writing in gel ink over ballpoint. So yeah, that is the ballpoint pen. It feels really nice in the hand. It's got kind of like a weight to it as well, which is nice. Next they've sent this, which is something that really, really intrigued me when I first saw it. I haven't seen a highlighter like this before, but it's got kind of like a dotty effect to it. I'm not quite sure how else to explain it. And instead of it being an actual like felt tip kind of nib, it has a roller ball on the end. So I'm gonna get this out and I'm gonna give it a go. I feel like it might be one of those more novelty things, but either way, I'm always up for trying the novelty, especially when it looks this fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a go and see how I like it. Whoa, okay. Oh, I expected that to be like highlighter orange, but it's not. It's kind of like a dark orange. You definitely have to hold it completely upright. That is strange. Ooh. Okay, I kind of like that. That's kind of fun. <laughs> In terms of how long it would actually last, I don't think it would last as long as a normal highlighter. I'm not 100% sure though. Just because this is all like empty. This is just a holder. It's just the place that you hold the pen. All of the ink is in this tiny little roller on the end. It says it doesn't dry out without the cap on, which is, I suppose, a pro. <laughs> and it says it leaves clean, even lines. So, yeah. I don't know. It's definitely, like, a novelty. I've not used a pen like that, I don't think, ever. I don't even know whether to call it a pen or not, because it's a rollerball. It's definitely something a little bit different. I don't know how I feel about the dots on the side of it, though. I think I much prefer just having like a straight highlighter line rather than the little fadey out dot thing. And then the last thing from Mapton Helix are these colouring pens. So like I said before, I have had a few of their colouring pens in the past. Wow, I did not expect the barrels of them to look like that. I saw it on the ends, but I thought it might just be the ends of them. But they're like, oh, you can't see properly with this. The whole barrel is completely metallic, which is really, really cool. So these are 08 millimeter medium 
colouring pens. So they're a felt tip pen, easy grip, soft resistant nib, bleed proof ink. Bleed proof ink? That's interesting. Definitely have to try that out. I can't imagine it being bleed proof on this paper because this paper is very thin, but I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna have a doodle with these and see what the colors are like. Something I always like to test with coloring pens and pencils is how accurate the color is to the color that's on the packaging. I have had pens in the past that have been completely different to the color that's on the pen. So I'm gonna doodle all of these and see what colors come out. Okay, so in terms of how accurate the colours are, most of them are actually pretty spot on. Um, I think the only one that came out a little bit different is the first green. It's come out a bit darker to what I expected. The darker pink is really accurate. All in all, the colours are matched pretty well. In terms of bleed through, um, they've definitely shadowed, which is to be expected. The one that's almost bled through is the brown, which I did go back over a little bit. But like I said, this is very thin paper. Any sort of colouring pages that I have are probably on thicker paper. I reckon this is a pretty decent set if you're planning to use them for colouring. The nib size is really nice as well. It's not too small, but you could colour detailed areas with them. And I am a bit of a sucker for the packaging. I love how <laughs> shiny and metallic they are. I'm gonna stay on the line with pens and I have a couple of fountain pens to show share from manuscript. So last year I was actually sent one like this, which I think is pretty much the same, if not the same pen, just a different colour. Um, so I was sent this blue one last year, and yeah, I think it's pretty much the exact same pen, just this time I have it in yellow, which, not complaining, do love my yellow. This is like my go-to when I go to grab a fountain pen, if I really want to use a fountain pen, this is what I use. Granted, I am not a professional fountain pen user, I don't use them all that often. I really want to use them more and learn how to do different techniques with them. But yeah, I'm definitely more of a newbie when it comes to fountain pens and calligraphy and stuff like that, so I can't really give any, like professional sounding tips for you but in terms of like a fountain pen and a starter fountain pen this was actually not bad so I'm actually pretty happy to have another one of them this one I haven't had before and I also haven't opened it yet I'm not quite sure what the difference is this is where a lot of people who use fountain pens often would probably know this straight up but I am being over cautious and I'm trying to find instructions on how to open it and fill it because <laughs> because I don't want to mess anything up, but I'm starting to realise I don't think there is any instructions on how to actually fill it. So I'm gonna have to either Google it or figure it out for myself, but nothing's twist. Oh, that, that had movement, maybe it's that way. I don't want to break it, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna have to like Google this <laughs> so I don't break it, but ooh, that's snazzy. It has like a softer grip on here, like a rubber, grip so it feels a bit nicer to hold this one just has plastic here which is not uncomfortable to use but it does feel a bit nicer to hold this one i am going to be doing a separate video on fountain pens at the end of the week so i'll probably have more of a play with them then um but for now i just wanted to share them with you and show you what they sent me next i was sent this from moleskine and this is from their art collection it's a bullet notebook so it has dotted pages and i am so excited about this i have a few different moleskine notebooks <laughs> but i don't have one like like this and the pages are 120 gsm which if you aren't aware is really really decent quality so each page is super thick and i cannot wait to try and use this as some sort of art journal i do have a specific use for it in mind but i don't want to get started with it just yet because i have a few other journals that i want to get kind of like completed and finish up first if you're a bullet journaler who likes to plan with a lot of like arty materials you like to use pens that might leak through pages and you like to draw a lot of things in your planner this is definitely one to have a look at in terms of like the quality of it the pages are so thick the paper is so smooth it obviously smells wonderful as well that's like one of the first things I do when I get a notebook and I know that sounds weird to some people but I know that a lot of people out there who also love stationery know exactly what I mean <laughs> when I say it smells good it's a good smelling notebook the last thing I have to share with you is this pencil from Cross 
Um, so Cross was also a sponsor last year and I think they sent a pen. I have the pen somewhere, I'm not quite sure where I've put it, but it's somewhere in my pen collection. <laughs> and this is probably the fanciest pencil that I own. I can't even swatch pens without getting them all over me, so just please ignore <laughs> my stripy hand. So the barrel of it is a metal and it has like this super nice texture on it. So to use the pencil, you just have to twist it and out pops the little, um, Oh my goodness, I did not even. <gasps> oh my goodness. See, this is why I don't look at these things beforehand because you won't get my actual reaction. So all I did before when I opened this was open the box and twist the pen to see that it was a pencil. Now I have just realized there is a pencil, there is a black pen and there is a red pen in this pen or pencil penencil i don't know what do you call this i am so amazed so i obviously twisted it like once i'm gonna have to zoom this in to try and show you properly because this is magic this is i i genuinely did not realize this did this until this moment so when i opened this when it arrived just to see what was in the box this is what i did i twisted it and this came out, which to me looks like a mechanical pencil. So my initial reaction was to see whether it was and push the top and obviously lead came out. So I was like, okay, it's a mechanical pencil. That's pretty cool because I've not had such a fancy pencil before in my whole life. <laughs> what I have just done and just discovered is instead of twisting it back, which makes it go away, if I continue to twist it this way, out pops a black pen and then if I keep twisting it, out comes a red pen. What? So this is the pencil, then the black pen, then the red pen, and then back to the pencil, and then the pencil's gone. What? What? How? If you're a teacher, this is like, you wouldn't need any other pen or pencil in your life, surely. <laughs> I'm so blown away by this. Like, I wanna know what's going on inside this pen <laughs> or pencil. I don't know what to call it, a penencil. So that was everything I was sent from the sponsors of National Stationery Week. I want to say thank you to the sponsors for sending all of this stuff because now I get to have a lot of fun playing around with it. I will try and find links to everything so be sure to check the description if you have seen anything that you like the look of. Obviously this video has been marked as an ad because all of this stuff was sent to me for free but I haven't been asked to do this video. I've just been asked to create some content for National Stationery Week and this is what I fancy doing so... Yeah, I will of course have some more videos coming this week and I already have some content up over on my Instagram and stuff. So if you're not following me over on Instagram, then be sure to go and have a look because I share quite a bit on there. <laughs> Instagram is definitely my go-to social media. I really hope you enjoyed going through all the stationery with me. Because it is World Stationery Day today, I would love to know down below what your favourite stationery item is. As always, if you do have any questions, then leave those down there as well and I'll get back to you. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.